Toledo here with a quick tech tip for you. We're, today we're going to be making some network cables. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so what we're going to need is some network cables. To be exact, I think these are uh, Cat6 um, crimpers, scissors, end caps. Uh, this is our network diagram. We're going to be doing B. And we also have some box cutters. So first we're going to start with uh, stripping the cable. This is what we're going to do here. I love these crimp crimpers because it cuts the cables like perfectly for me every time. Pull that out. We'll do both sides. So once you expose these, this is what we do. The only reason these scissors are here for it, to be honest, is just for this. Right here. Boom. Put that off to the side. Boom. So then, what I like to do is always extend these out first. Expose the shields. Cut the shields out. Boom. Boom. Get those out the way. You guys, so you guys can see it. <clears throat> and then we're gonna untangle all of them. So we untangle all of it. Just like so. So guys, when it comes to RJ45 and cables, um, there's usually two two types, A and B. Um, the, the, the diagram here shows the difference between the two. Um, the color schemes are defined by ANSI. That's the, the acronym for them. It's uh, known as the Accredited Telecommunications Industry Association. So sometimes choosing between the two is technically different options, especially if you're a novice. It's tough to make that decision. Which way do you go and how do you find out? So I always go B industry wise in the IT world. It's usually B. Um, but if you're making new runs, new cables, you always want to look at what's existing there, especially in the patch panels. Um, more, more likely than not, it's usually the B, B type. Um, in this video, we're doing B. So if you want to follow along, uh, this is basically what, what we're going to be doing. And in other words, you just got to pick one and stick with it across the board whenever you're using it. You always want to start from the left. So you go white, orange. I like to go like this. You guys to see how, why, how and why. White, orange, orange. We do white, green. And then we're doing blue again. Blue. White, blue. Then going with green. white brown brown so then they're kind of straight so then we want to do is just kind of slowly keep them in line maneuver them in a way where you get them real close to each other and you always want to check before you do this cut it really doesn't matter but it's just it just makes it way easier white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown and then what I like to do is you know you basically get this look at the size and cut around that size so I'm gonna cut right here nice and even and again when you're looking at the network jack you always want to look at it as if you're facing it you see the, the pins facing you and you put the cables in in that manner and then with this jack I love these jacks especially these jacks because um, then you're able to pull it all the way through and then again you could just check the order again white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown and then at that point you just squeeze it all the way through I want you guys to make sure you see that all the way through and then you get the crimper just 
and you crimp it right through. Just like so. Put it right in, push it all the way in, and you see it let the tool do its magic right here. It usually cuts some on this tool. It's a great tool to have. And sometimes I like to keep the box cutter around just in case sometimes it doesn't catch it all the way. But this one did such a good job. I can't complain, so it's perfect. And now we'll get that out of the way and then do the other side. Same thing. We're gonna go white orange, orange. We're gonna do white green, green. So, no, sorry, white green, blue white blue all right get these nice and close you can still you know maneuver that green white brown brown make the same scenario do the same thing manipulate it move it get it to where you need it same scenario kind of measure it you can kind of get an idea And then I'd like, again, I always look at it again, just in case, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And again, face the pins you, facing you, and insert them, just like that. Again, always make it a habit. You never want to crimp it before you're done. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, blue, white blue green white brown brown again you never it's like cutting wood you never want to you measure twice cut once so same scenario we're going to put the crimper in put it in the crimper and again my, this is my favorite one it's called platinum tools i'll have a link in the description for you guys but this is my favorite one because again it cuts it for you and just like that pull it out and you have your cables done. It's that simple. It's that simple. Again, I keep this around just in case I feel like it didn't cut it right, but it always, just in case, I just go over it once. But that's it. Boom. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed making that network cable with me. If you liked the video, please uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. Let's grow. Let's grow together.